Hello and welcome to Back to One with Brandy. Thank you so much for being here. I am so happy. Hopefully you caught um, my post on Instagram or Facebook about Pick a Pile. These are adult readings, so um, I always suggest 18 or over and uh, we're doing it a little bit different this time, so definitely 18 or over. And if you are offended by cuss words, or a sexual illustration, please click off of this video. I hope that you gain the utmost um, guidance from the advice of these beautiful decks. And we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. You can go ahead and think about it. If you would like to go see those pictures on Instagram or Facebook, do go check those out too. But, okay, we are going to start with deck number one, and this is the 25th of March, 2020. I had to think about it for a minute, so. Alright, so, deck number one, pile number one. So, we have some teamwork and collaboration with the three of pentacles, teamwork, collaboration, We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Okay, so the Four of Swords, this is masturbating, okay? Remember that you already got, I did say this was a adult reading. Okay, so this is collaboration teamwork and this is masturbating, okay? Um, this is also talking about Magic of Black Pepper. Um, and this is exhaustion, the seven of pentacles, tiredness, there's seven knots. Seven knots of tiredness, collaboration. Oof. Okay, so the, with the, you have to learn how to give your energy to your partner. Maybe masturbating together. Tiredness. Okay, so um, don't punish yourself for errors. If you've tried something before, maybe this is telling you to try try it again you have to keep trying after your errors don't punish yourself Whew. okay let's see uh, here they go fuck fear it will lie to your face and you got figure shit out on your own so i gave you the advice and i have to figure it out the rest on your own Whew. they're like leaving you with some suspense Seven knots. I think the seven knots is um, a protection. I think it's like a Japanese, like a red string protection thing. <sighs> I hope that you have fun. <laughs> um, and remember, fuck fear. It just lies to your face, okay? Woo! Pile number one. That was intense. I'm going to see what magical, let's see what magical oracle pile number one means. March 25th, 2020. March 25th, 2020. What kind of magical oracle does this pile need for the collective back to one? That choose pile one. Pile one. November 25th, 2020. Let's see what's this with a magical oracle. Thank you. Ooh, bewitching. Let me grab the bug. Okay, so it says, the power and the knowledge of wisdom that you seek are all available to you. You can certainly accomplish what you wish, but use your abilities wisely, or else there is unforeseen consequences. 
Seek advice from someone more experienced before you intimate your plan, whether it be a spell, project, or a course of action. If you are planning a bit of magic, keep in mind that this practice um, to keep from causing harm that you don't intend at the end, say something like, quote, I asked for this or something better for the greater good of all with harm to none, so mote to be. Beautiful. Super beautiful. Let's see what else the... Say anything else about her. She's a young, powerful witch. Young, powerful witch. Um, the moon is showing waxing full and waning. It's also symbols of focus and intent. She carries pentagram of earth, fire, water, and air. And the top point represents spirit, which rules all the elements. Woo! That is so cool. She's clothed in black for color protection. Magic can be dangerous if misused. Amen. All right, let's go ahead and see. Okay, so pile number two. Let's see what the minute marker is. 640. All right, pile number two. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Okay, it's lunchtime. <sighs> Have you ate? You are acting like a big ass baby. You need food in your belly. Eat a taco. And you look like a shit show. You're a hot mess. Clean yourself up. Clean yourself up. Go get you something to eat. Especially right now. Everybody's cooped up in their houses. Um, you don't have to go very far. The sunlight is beaming out everywhere. The sun is out today. Woo! Okay, so the first thing I pick up is the Queen of Chalice. This is a Cancer's energy, but she's all about tenderness. She's gentle. Um, the Nine of Swords. This is all about rubbing, okay? So, okay. There is the magic black cat in this. Woo! Ten of Wands, penetration. Okay? The power man meets the power of woman, and success and love must so satisfy both partners. So maybe they're letting you know, like, some tenderness, some loving tenderness and rubbing is going to bring about the success of, from the penetration. Woo! Magic black cat, cancer, cancer energy, um, giving of oneself to let the mystery die. You must begin after your heirs. You know, this is, um, this could be even planning future. But the Ten of Wands is the success in, is penetrate you. The success in both men and women. Oh, there's a toad hidden down here, if that means anything to anybody. Um, and we have the full card with the tower card. So there is definitely some change. They're saying, like, follow your heart. Follow the beat to your own drum, which is your heart. Um, this is an unstable situation. This is change. The tower is... Um, Sometimes that's where you're rebuilding. Follow the beat to your own drum. Wow, you guys. Okay, let's see what your magical oracle is. March 25th, 2020. For the fact that we're back to one. Brandy, pile number two. Please bless us with a beautiful oracle message for this. Beautiful people. 
hashtag for 2020. Oh, uh, that was great. Three of them. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the Shadow Weaver, she's all about the bounce. You see the white and the black dragons. Okay, she's fierce though. She she can't tame the dragons, but she works with their energies. Let me see what the book says. I hope everybody's having a great day. Oof. Her oracle message is there is something or several even many things going on in your life. Perhaps you're overwhelmed. Maybe your life seems a bit out of control. Maybe there's just one project you can't get a grasp on. Whatever is in the case, this card is here to tell you that letting things fall apart, letting things slide, well, that's just not an option right now. There are many times when it's okay and no harm is done, but now it's in your best interest to tap into your deepest, strongest organization quote unquote, get it done, power, and use them. Okay, so she's a very powerful creature. You can tell she's hanging out with the dragons. She's got to be powerful. Okay. That um, She has a butterfly representing her ability to focus and use the opposite energies as she wishes with that black beetle that's in her hand, okay? And let's see, we also have the Spirit of Yule. This is a beautiful card. Okay, so Yule is, you know, the, the first and foremost, the celebration of life. Okay, this is uh, whether your situation is bleak or just not as bright as you would like, the Spirit of Yule suggests that you prepare and call to you, the return of light and joy. This is a situation where like things attract. If you actively call light and joy, they will come to you. And you can do this in many ways, such as focusing on your current blessings and making t plans for the time ahead. Okay, she is holding, um, she holds her baby, she's holding the baby, which represents the birth of life, the reason of hope, the dark moon behind her um, that's making way for the rising sun. The branches are draped in snow, which represent death, but the base are um, in fern, a remembrance that life is never far away. Green, red, and white candles burn as they are a statement of faith about celebration and the return of light. In the midst of gray, empty landscape, she has created a haven to celebrate and nurture life. I totally suggest if you have any of those collars of candles to light them together and you know and make a list of what you're grateful for right now. There is so much to be grateful for. And Goth Week, she is a um Let's see here. Okay, so she's all about there's something you fear. Whatever the fear came from, or wherever the fear came from, however it has entered your mind, how, however well it may have served you in the past, it is now keeping you from moving forward. You do not face it, you're going to be frozen in place. If you do face it, you will not only continue along your chosen path, but you will also gain strength and understanding beyond your expectations. Okay, she is a fairy that represents fears that can be conquered. Behind her is the full moon, and the purple clouds represent a reward for those who face her. Purple is the color of spirituality and personal power, and this full moon is all her glory, where all her knowledge and influence is revealed. We just came from a Virgo super full moon, so maybe that has um, tapped something into you. And they're letting you know, like, don't be scared to, like, she's standing before you and, um, you know, she's a test of your personal power. I totally suggest, oh, wow, 
<laughs> Ravens to start crying. Um, I totally suggest some wearing purple, like eyeshadow, socks, panties, uh, jewelry, any any purple, or even red because of the passion, because they're both in red. But these these are amazing, super super amazing. Uh, don't be scared. Um, right now is all about um, everybody's unsure of everything, so there's a. Maybe stop watching the news if you're feeling the anxiety. But um, you got some togetherness or some tenderness and rubbing to focus on for pleasure for both partners. So you got better things to concentrate on. <laughs> okay, so let's see the 15:50 minute marker for that third pile. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so we have maybe some mirroring. Okay, we have a Gemini lovers, chariot. Oh, okay. Okay, so. First off, stop sleeping so damn much. Wake up, you're missing out on some cool shit. Laugh? Where the fuck is your sense of humor? So maybe there's a funny show. Maybe there's something on. Maybe um, you're missing a message at night. Maybe instead of um, maybe meditate before you bet, go to bed or binary beats for when you're sleeping. Um, let's see here. Okay, so the lover's card is a Gemini energy. The lover's is like seduction. Um, the magic of the red plants, okay, this is sentimental choices even. This is the chariot, this is cancer energy, so conquest, um, this is a command, do you see it has the flogger, okay, so, um, faking, like, maybe, let's see, ooh, a domination. Okay, so whew. this is the strength card. This is a Le uh, Leo energy, but this is about domination, the magic of contact. Okay, touch, contact um, requires like okay, pow. Maybe you're maybe you could be a person of power, it's letting you know like power requires the utmost concentration. So the magic. To, you know, to build magic to resist outside attacks. This could also be like out, like, like staging a retreat and stay, you know, having a forceful attack. Oof. So some red magic, like the magic of red plants. I feel like this is more of a, um, can we see that? Okay. This feels more like a, um, like maybe you're under attack. And you're not sh and you don't know it. It's telling you to, you know, go at it from a different perspective if you are under attack. There are jealous people out there. Um, maybe you're a Gemini and Cancer, maybe, you know, or Leo. This could all, man, there's just a lot of major arcanas right here. The major arcanas are strong and are, like the strongest cards we got. So. This could very well be turning out in different ways, like seduction, domination, commands, or this is the plants, you know, are going to help with, if you're going through something sentimental, different perspective, magic of the, con you know, touch, 
with because you're mirroring I always say this card is mirroring because you can see these two they are they don't see each other but they're looking for each other it looks like they're discontent they're, there's fear of losing control but this card the five of wands is all about like um, it's a harmless test of integrity a harmless test of integrity Where's your sense of humor? So it's harmless. Maybe you're just being too serious about it. Um, maybe you're just too serious about it. Let's see what beautiful oracle message with pile number three for the Back to One Collective, March 25th, 2020. Beautiful oracle message does pile three mean? Beautiful oracle message does pile three mean? There we go. I didn't think it was gonna happen. Okay, so Lavender Moon. Oh, she's beautiful. Lots of purple. Um, she is, um, purple, purple is like personal power and spirituality. I'm trying to... Okay, so the Oracle message for the Lavender Moon it is time for you to be very clear with yourself about what you believe. This may pertain to a spiritual path or vision. It may pertain to a smaller issue, whatever it is. You have all the information you need. It is now time to stop researching, reading, and asking others. Take all the information you've gathered and withdraw. Be alone with these ideas and measure them against nothing but your own heart. Only then you will know what is right for you. This also suggests like saging um, to clear to clear the room around you. This lavender moon fairy is doing her own searching. Um, she incorporates the power of the full moon, which because it helps her desires illuminate. She wants the path to be revealed. The moths around her are a symbolism of transformation and a desire for light. She herself is going through a massive transformation. It's the final steps of deciding her path that is right before her. She calmly and reinvertly asks for guidance as she begins the inward journey. Okay, so like I was saying, this is saying to sage your space um, in yourself, white and purple cloth, um, lavender, lavender, purple, wearing purple, help you connect. So maybe you're on a different, maybe that's why your choice is to strength, to strength, go at it at a different, different tactic. You're in a transformation. I think this is so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys have received your utmost guidance from these beautiful decks i am very grateful that you have stopped by and i can't wait to see you guys again thank you so much for being here